Hi everybody, Alex here and today I'm going to show you my settings on how to get your voice sounding a bit like mine in Audacity. But first, I want to thank Gunsy for showing me these settings because I stole these settings from him. If you want to check out his channel, I'll leave it in the description below and I'll probably make a card as well. Just be aware, these settings don't work for every microphone. Okay, I tried this on my headset. My headset is a Sennheiser Game 1. Some of the settings do work, like the compressor. I mean, I think you should always compress your voice on no matter what microphone you use. I'm currently using a Blue Yeti. Freaking awesome microphone. If you've got a snowball, these settings will also work well with that. And pretty much any other microphone above these kinds of microphones, I reckon. I've got a clip-on microphone. These settings do not work at all. My voice just sounds too tinny. So you need a microphone that gives you some oomph without some settings applied to it. I always record around 0.29. The lower your microphone volume is, then the less distortion you're gonna get if you actually scream in YouTube videos. It's also about how you use your microphone, like the distance away from your microphone and stuff like that. So one of the bad habits I do is I constantly lean away from my microphone like this while I'm playing games and when I'm aware of what I'm doing, I move closer to the microphone and then it sounds like this again. So yeah, it's all about how you use your equipment. Okay, so the first thing you do is you have to record something. Press record. Fuck, I'm already recording. My name is Alex and I like to party. Woo! So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to effect and compressor. Remember these settings, use these settings that I stole from Gansi. So what you do is you run it through the compressor. So you see them peak a little bit. That's all right, that's super cool. So you go to effect again, and then you go to normalize. Remember these settings? I don't know if this is actually different from the default. Press OK. And then, equalization. Remember this. These are Gonzi's exact settings. These are my settings. Yeah, they're super cool. Makes your voice sound hot and sexy like mine, not really. If you want to be sexy, don't be an Australian. Anywho, once you've entered these settings, press OK. See how this is up the top? You want to get rid of this shit, so what you do is you go to Limiter. Make it Soft Limit, unless you're really, really screaming, I think. Once you enter these settings, press OK, and then see how it's almost the same. But this is a little bit higher than some of these. You want these kind of the same level. So, go to Effect, go to Amplify, and then you amplify it by 4. Press OK. And then, you limit everything again. But it just makes it so that the voice comes out a little more. See how they're more kind of level? What Limiter does, it makes it so that it does not go past this peak over here. Anything beyond the yellow in Audacity when you're recording is kind of bad. You want your voice between minus 9 and minus 3. So, 6. It's the perfect volume. Limiter is really good in a way because even if you're really screaming, you can make it sound the same volume as when you're normally talking. As always, there are benefits and disadvantages. Disadvantages, you can't ear rape your friends. Okay, so this is what it sounds like. My name is Alex and I like to party. Woo! So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna export it. First, we need to think of a name. Subscribe to Game Sense. I'm actually recording using Shadowplay right now. So yeah, I save it as an uncompressed wave, 32-bit float. Works well with MP4. By the way, if you're recording for a very long time, you can't actually save in 32-bit float. So anything over two hours, I think? I don't know, maybe it's just my computer, but it cuts off. So in that situation, I would save it as an MP3. Matty uses MP3s on his videos and they work fine. Okay, so now you're probably wondering how to reduce the noise in the background. Okay, so we just recorded, compressor, normalize, and then equalization, press OK, and then now you want to get rid of the noise. So there's noise here, make it so you choose a part where you're not tapping or there's any other noise. So you select the noise you want to reduce, let's imagine this is a fan, click on effect, it usually sets these itself, so don't worry about that. Get noise profile, and then you just apply it to the whole thing by double clicking, and then effect, noise reduction, okay, then you press OK, and then you add all the other shit, let's do that. If you wanted to, you could use noise reduction twice, but remember you're sacrificing quality. And most of the time, you can actually hide it with gameplay. So yeah, I don't worry about it that much. Anyway, you want to export it, you go to your editing program, 
I use Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premiere is freaking boss. So all you do now is just click and drag. If your Adobe Premiere doesn't let you click and drag, then move it here and then just drag it in. Yay! Super cool! Here's what it sounds like without the effects. My name is Alex and I like to party. Woo! And this is using the effects. My name is Alex and I like to party. Woo! I don't know about you guys, but I definitely prefer this one. Brings out my voice and gives it some oomph. If you don't want to sound like these guys. Hey guys, I'm back with another video. And guys, it's hard not to pick what video to do. So this guy sounds like he's talking through a fucking paper bag. Hey, great channel. I do gaming video and I hope we can. Like you can see, I do gaming video. If you like to support. To support for love. Did I am asking subscribe me? No. I am not, not asking you subscribe me. <laughs> okay, so this guy is a sub for subber who basically went around to my friends and like asked them to subscribe to his channel. Really top notch quality content. And yeah, he kind of sounds like he breathes on his microphone a lot, even though he has a pop filter over it. Maybe we have the same microphone. But yeah, basically I made a sub for subbing video exposing him, and then he got pissy about it and made a reaction video. But the thing is, if he follows this audition tutorial, maybe his reaction videos won't sound like he's talking through a toaster. Oh, by the way, Samir Skull DZ, if you're watching this, you're welcome for all the views. Kiss, love ya. So yeah, if you don't if you don't want to sound like this guy or this guy, then follow my tutorial. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If there's something I missed or something that you want me to cover in future videos, then feel free to leave a comment below. I used to live stream and record gameplay at the same time, so if you're interested in seeing something like that, I can make it. Some of the videos on this channel I've used are from live streams, and it doesn't even look like I was live streaming at the time. So anywho. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, everyone.